the cell let me introduce uh, sunil bhaiya a bit uh, we all know sunil bhaiya uh, sunil bhaiya uh, is a you know, consistent volunteer in all these usd activities uh, formally he is a professor and head in the division of civil engineering cochin university uh, college engineering uh, that is uh, also a part of cochin university uh, which is at kochi in kerala so he is associated with the usp activities since june 2020 through online forum and you know, playing a uh in a major role in many activities so with this uh, short note i may invite sunil bhaiya to start the sharing and the uh, uh, time is you know 20 to 25 minutes ji bhaiya welcome ji namaste thank you namaste namaste tera pasand hai bhaiya namaste kumar bhaiya is my voice audible clear ji ji perfect please go yeah thank you so thank you dear co explorers for this opportunity to share in this morning session of batch 7 so let me start with the brief introduction as per the indicators my name is uh, sunil kumar n i hail from kutanad which is recognized by the food and agricultural organization of the united nations in 2012 as one of the three globally important agricultural heritage systems in the country I was born and brought up in this low-lying land, which is the rice bowl of Kerala state, and I studied in rural schools too. I continued my educational journey to the Mohanlal Gandhi University for pre-degree, Calicut University for B.Tech in civil engineering, Kerala University for M.Tech in structural engineering, and later to the Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, for Ph.D. in computational mechanics. I long to be a teacher, following the footsteps of my maternal and paternal grandfathers. Both were teachers, so I started my teaching career in January 2, 1995. I worked with several institutions and pursued non-teaching assignments too before settling in the Kochi University of Science and Technology, Kochi, Kerala, from 14th of July 1999 as a faculty member in the in civil engineering. So by profession, as Tara Pasana pointed out in the introduction. i am a professor and head in the division of civil engineering in the rural campus of the university named as kochi university college of engineering kutanad my wife sunitha she is a state government servant by profession currently holding the position of assist, assistant director audit of cooperative societies my daughter parvati yes she is doing her third year btech in civil engineering in my institution and my son parthanes he is finished is the plus 2 program and awaiting admission to higher education my parents and siblings are staying in my ancestral home which is 8 kilometers away from the place where i am staying my mother in law is staying with me so this is a brief regarding my family i have been associated with the uhb activities from my attending the introductory workshop in june 2020 later i attended the online sip which is conducted by the uh, nccip in october 2020 along with my daughter who joined for her engineering graduate program at that time in my college i attended refreshment part 1 in february 2021 then i shared values to my second year students and uhb2 course online my self exploration has been improving when i share values with my students i attended refreshment part 2 in january 2022 i started volunteering after that i have also started giving demo presentations in saturday and sunday weekly meetings and sunday morning uh, the resource person development meetings the regional volunteers conference at bangalore in april 2022 and lead volunteers meeting at pune in january 2023 helped me to enrich my self exploration i joined the morning sessions from april 2022 after getting the information from tarabhaya and dibadidi i joined the fifth batch of morning session from 16th may 2022 trying to attend keenly observation of self by the self and that of the body by the self started happening occasionally as an exercise one and two in the beginning i rejoined the morning session in batch 6 as a panel member this facilitated me to be in touch with the content in the slides more closely i try continuing observation at every moment and be aware of the same 
However, I can see that I have to go a long way in my self-exploration. I continued my journey of morning session to batch 7 from 30th of March to Newton V3 as a panelist again. This time, USV3 and exercises 1 and 2 are the content of the morning session, which helped me to go deeper into the USV content and focus more on the steps of the exercises. And from 17th March to Newton V3 onwards, I have had the opportunity to share the USB content to the co-explorers of uh, the introductory face-to-face -face workshops at various colleges, institutions, and universities in the state of Kerala, Tamil Nadu, and Andhra Pradesh. This facilitated my self-exploration further as I could listen to the sharing and questions from many co-explorers. Now, regarding the indicator two, that is share the shift in your understanding about the following through the sessions. One is regarding the human being, as Kumar Paya pointed out just now, particularly regarding the self. The basic understanding regarding human being as coexistence of self and body deep rooted within myself after the UHP2 workshop, owing to the exploration facilitated by the lectures of uh, higher activities in the self in this uh, UHP3 session. I can see the activity contemplation of relationship with more clarity. Now, the relationship with people who are unknown to me or those with whom I had been in opposition in the past is seen much better. Now, the relationship which I can see with, my, with the participants of the various UHP face-to-face -face workshops and uh, one higher official who rejected my proposals uh, in many occasions are examples. Initially, there were uh, feelings of opposition, but now I can see that this is feeling of relationship, as I can see that the, the lack of understanding is there with the other uh, official, and I have to work upon my competence as well as I, I can help him improving his competence. I try to experientially validate that there is trust and intention with all, but lack of competence is there in many human beings, including me. I can interact with many such people with a feeling of relationship. However, I have to work upon with uh, traces of internal reaction, which is there with me, which happens occasionally. The potential of the self is there as information with me through these uh, interactions in the UHP3 uh, sessions. The transformation from selecting tasting, that is animal consciousness, to awakening of contemplation, understanding, and coexistence is what I am working for at every moment to tap this potential. I recognize my interactions with my colleagues, students, USB volunteers, etc. in this line. What is guiding my feelings to them in the expression? Am I depicting the real feelings? Who is responsible for these feelings? This I am working upon. Self-evaluation helps me to refer to my natural acceptance, though it took much time in the past. Now the time is getting reduced to see these things. This is a major shift which I can see, which I can observe in myself. through the discussions of the UHV3 content. The activities, innateness, natural characteristics, and inheritance of the four orders of nature are clearer through the discussions in the morning sessions. I'm trying to understand the expressions of nature through observations and exp experiences, trying to connect the information with life experiences. The third point is existence. The coexistence or submergence of the material and consciousness units of the nature in space, ensuring energy, self-organization and recognition and fulfillment has been the crux of the whole learning of UHP. And I'm still exploring this part of the content. I try to develop the competence to see the space. I expect that the exercise three may help me towards this. The need for linear development in the self is evident. And um, I can see that the potential is there within. I also take part in the work uh, towards universal human order. 
Now regarding the human conduct, that is the fourth point. The role of uh, human being is in this existence is to understand the coexistence, harmony, and relationship, and to live in coexistence, harmony, and uh, relationship. Realization within the self and expression outside are equally important, as I understand. The human conduct includes from realization within to expression outside, behavior, work, and participation in the larger orders. I try to understand the higher activities of the self and hence the human conduct. I shall try to experientially validate the information and this will help improving my competence. Now that is my understanding regarding the four uh, points. Then uh, indicate number three is share your understanding emerging out of exercises one and two. In brief, how many steps are you able to see in yourself clearly? The steps one to four of exercise one happens in quick succession to me. Whenever I am in a state of disharmony, I observe and evaluate my feelings. I try to see if the feeling is naturally acceptable and who is deciding this feeling. I can see with self-exploration that I am responsible for my feelings, irrespective of what is happening outside. As an example, when my administrative or academic higher authority denies permission to conduct uh, USB workshops or other related activities, I used to be in disharmony and react earlier. However, I had a couple of uh, discussions with him in which I requested him also to attend the workshops. Though he declined the same and spoke to me with a feeling of opposition, I could see myself with undisturbed feelings now. For granting permission to the conduct of some workshops, I had to approach the next higher authority in the university as suggested by the same authority, my immediate authority. So I can see that the feeling of uh, relationship is there with him. And I have also a feeling of a relationship with him. I try to bring in a feeling of relationship, but I can see that it may take, take a longer time for him to understand. And I can try helping him in this regard. So uh, the discussions are on. I'm still uh, trying to improve my competence and trying to help him in improving his competence. The step five in this exercise one, uh, the basis of deciding the feelings. Assumptions or understanding. I have to work more as I, I, as I can see that sometimes assumptions play a role with me, though I verify them with time. Uh, as in step six, I can see that the feelings of relationships, harmony and coexistence are naturally acceptable to me. But I am not fully relieved from opposition, disharmony, and struggle. Whenever I have a feeling of opposition, disharmony, or struggle, I go back to steps one to four and try to return back to a relationship, harmony, and coexistence, though it takes time. I have to work more on uh, step seven in ensuring the naturally acceptable feelings of relationship, harmony, and coexistence within in continuity. That is regarding excess one. Now, regarding excess two, I can see steps one to three now with ease. Distinguishing between the self and the body, observing interactions between the self and the body and the decision maker can be seen through my own activities. I used to, as an example, I'm just telling this, I used to go to bed by uh, 10, 10.30 p.m. and get up by um, 4, 4.30 p.m. Sorry, 4, 4.30 a.m. However, last week, um, during a travel time, I had to drive in the night from 11.15 p.m. to 1.30 a.m. So I listened to the music system in the car and was focused on safe driving in that night. I did not read the sensation of sleep till I reached home, but was sensing the road, the other vehicles, observations, sorry, uh, the other obstructions in the road, rain which is happening outside, and the music in the music system. I can see that I read those sensations of my interest only, and I am at a distance uh, from these sensations. So I decide which sensation to read. This is what I can observe from this example, and many other examples are there. Uh, the step number four is getting clearer than that in the previous batch. That is what I can uh, observe here. Now this step number five and six, as Kumar Priya told, these are very important steps. 
and very crucial steps also i try to see them myself interaction with the world outside is by way of sensation associating meanings to sensation by way of assumptions or right understanding is decided by my sense car another example which i caught here is when i saw my son closing a glass window forcefully uh, facilitating breakage of the glass panel i associated his anger caused him to break the glass and then how i could get it repaired that is what was going through at that time with me i associated the feeling of opposition to my son and scolded him for a while this happened in one night i realized that the feeling of my son and that between me and my son are important than the material so this evaluation is happening quickly within within me uh, i stopped scolding him and uh, suddenly apologized to him during that night i slept with him on his bed only and we talked for uh, i could say many a uh, couple of hours we talked during this and many other things with a feeling of a relationship and he also could realize that uh, what he did and he was emotional for some time before we engaged in sharing a uh, relationship and sharing uh, some other um, feelings also with a bit each other so i can see steps 1 to 5 of exercise uh, exercise 1 so whenever um, i see this uh, sensation part i go back to exercise 1 and i can see the step number 1 to 5 of exercise 1 also here now step number 7 in exercise 2 observing the space and seeing that the self and the body are in coexistence in space that needs more competence from my side and i am working on it now the fourth indicator in the sharing uh, session is share the change in your living with this understanding if any in the past four months in addition to listening to the discussions in batch 7 of the morning sessions i have been sharing values to faculty members in face to face introductory usp workshops in the past four months listening to the content in the morning sessions and the questions and sharing from participants of the face to face workshops both of them help a lot in improving my competence i can see a few shifts in my life in the past four months one is settling down of the reactions to a great extent this is what i am observing from june 2020 but this is uh, getting faster in the previous four months but at the same time i observe that um in one of my uhp 2 classes out, out of those 16 classes which i have taken so far in one of those classes the number of students is 72 in the class i utter the word listen with a um, little bit louder and when i utter that word i could evaluate the myself the reaction in that word and i could realize that i am responsible for that uh, feeling of reaction so i share this with the students also then another shift which i can see apart from this settling down of reactions uh, is i can see that all human beings are related to me this can be exemplified with my interactions with participants of the face to face workshops um in other states or in my own state in universities as well as institutions which i uh, have been visiting for the first time then students and colleagues in my institution and others though uh, not many testimonials are there so um, this is uh, just my feeling only i didn't get uh, much testimonial from others also regarding this so this shift is happening very slowly that's what i can see then the third shift which i can see is that less excitement i can observe that the excitement which was there before in interaction and behavior with others is now getting reduced but still it is there i have to work upon this the fourth point which i can say is the change of uh, food habits this is an ongoing process as i try to realize the purpose of food is not for taste but nurturing the, the body so selection of food items at home or at face to face workshops i see that i take nurturing food with uh, required quantity only so that there is zero wastage the fifth 
shift which I can see is uh, following this green protocol. I try to follow the green protocol and I try to help others also to follow this green protocol, particularly in the uh, programs and other activities in the college as well as uh, in the face to face workshops, other institutions. Then the sixth one, which I can say is the minimum purchase and right utilization of physical facilities with me. Uh, I have been progressing in this line. I have reduced my purchase from uh, June 2020 onwards, but now I have been uh, working upon how to rightly utilize the physical facility which I have with me. So this is something which uh, I can say regarding the uh, shift which I can see in my understanding and in my living in the past four months. Then regarding my commitment part, volunteering various activities of UHP, translation work, facilitating in the face-to-face -face online FTPs, weekly meetings, Kerala chapter meetings, UHP self requisite meetings, ESIP follow-up meetings, etc. Um, I can say I spend uh, three to four hours a day on an average for right understanding and right feeling part. As many of my projects in the technical projects in my institution and activities are connected to rural and sustainable technology. I have been involved in social uh, facilitations for long and shall continue to do so. For example, the projects on polar ball construction, uh, sustainable building construction, use of construction and demolition waste, uh, contaminant transport through water bodies, removal and reuse of uh, water hyacinth, and its reuse for building material or, or for fuel, etc. There are some examples which are uh, directly connected to the to the society. Activities like conducting USB sessions to people in the community, in my community over here, uh, to school children whenever I get some opportunity. Um, online meetings with rural people in which I deliver the USB proposals, etc. They help adding to social commitment. So what I can say is that whenever I get an opportunity to discuss something or to give a speech with uh, people around, I um, this universal human value proposals come automatically in my speech. And that is helping me as well as helping others also. So when I get an opportunity to, to discuss uh, the civil engineering uh, subjects to uh, in a training program of uh, executive engineers and assistant executive engineers of the Kerala State Electricity Board a month before for seven hours. So I devoted two hours for this um, proposing some USB proposals. And that, in fact, out of those seven hours, the people uh, got connected to the USB proposals much better than the, uh, the civil engineering content. That is what they have shared towards end also. So with this, I uh, conclude my sharing. Uh, and this is time to express my sincere gratitude to all the mentors, Ganesh ji, uh, Shamla Didi, Kumar Bhaiya, other panel members and co-explorers in the morning sessions. I also express, express my sincere gratitude uh, to Umesh ji, Vanjana ji, Rajul ji, and many other mentors who helped me improving my competence. So thank you all dear colleagues for us for uh, having given me this opportunity and having listened to me for this long time. Thank you so much. Over to you, Dr. Vasna ji. Thank you. Thank you so much for this enriching sharing. And in fact, uh, if time would be there, we can take a few reflections from our participants. But as time is short, I may directly you know, request uh, Kumar Vaya to put his comments. Then we will go to the participants to take some questions or like that. Ji, Kumar Vaya. Ji, very nice, Sunil Vaya. Very precise and concise sharing by you. Uh, we are also able to see the way you have been investing yourself uh, since you got connected to this whole process. You are trying to pay attention to all dimensions of your living. And you are also trying to participate. In fact, uh, the way you have been working upon yourself, it is quite visible in your participation also. And you are working on your sanskars also very sincerely. This is something that we can see. A good part is that whenever we have tried to give some input to you, you have received well. 
with a welcome note. So that is very good to see. Uh, you also shared the shifts that have taken place <clears throat> in the past four months. And particularly with VHV3, we get the clarity about the existence in much more detail. And the exercises one and two that we had been doing earlier, uh, they get connected to this whole understanding. And you also cited incidents that took place with you, which helped you reflect how you are becoming more and more aware about yourself, your feeling, your interaction with the body, your coexisting with the body. So very nice here. And you already have been devoting your time and effort. Now, we'll see that when you go to work upon our samskars, then there are certain things which we are able to overcome uh, very soon. But there are certain samskars which do take time. And that is common to every human being. So, I wish that you start paying attention to those samskars and then start working upon them also. And then there is a lot of possibility of your participation in the larger and larger order. And as we can see that at the core is our own competence, our own development of the activities in block B1. And the more we try to invest ourselves to develop these activities, the more we are able to participate harmoniously in the larger order. So my best wishes here, and I congratulate you for being consistently available for uh, participating in the activities also in working upon yourself. So nice, best wishes here. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kumar Bhaiya. Thank you so much for your wishes. And I, as I understand more and more, I can see that I have to work more. So this um, deeper understanding is required as well as living is also very important. So I can see it and I try to be consistent more and more. Thank you so much. Nice.